All right, everyone, welcome back. This is going to be a rather brief video over just some basic structure of bones. And what we see here in this uh, image is a long bone that has been sectioned so that we can see the interior of the bone. This particular long bone is the humerus, the bone of the upper arm, but any long bone will still have these same basic structures that we're going to look at today. So on a long bone, typically what we will see is in the middle, there's this long shaft area, and then on each end, it kind of swells outward. Now, this shaft area of a long bone is called the diaphysis, and each end where it kind of swells outward is called an epiphysis. So there are two epiphysis, one diaphysis. Now, the, if we look at the shaft portion, the diaphysis, the edge of it is very, very dense but the inside of it is hollow. The hollow portion is called the medullary cavity, and in an adult, this is filled with yellow bone marrow, which is essentially fat. The edges, where it is much more dense, this is called compact bone. Compact bone, we've learned about in lecture, uh, is very different from something else we'll see in just a moment. Now, if we look at each end where we find an epiphysis, it's not hollow. It's filled with this web-like material. This is called spongy bone. So the edge of the diaphysis is compact bone. The inside of each epiphysis is spongy bone. Now, the spongy bone is where we find red bone marrow. Now, something that you don't really need to know for our lab, but since there are two epiphysis, there's one that's going to be closer to the trunk, the main body, such as in this particular bone, the humerus, the image top right here, this is where we find the head of the humerus. So this is what would connect at your shoulder. This end is called the proximal epiphysis. Down here at the bottom of the image, this would be where your elbow is. This is called the distal epiphysis. Now, if we go back and look at this compact bone here, if we zoom in, if we had uh, a way to take a section of this and put it under some very high magnification, then what we see in our next image is what we would see. Okay, so now we've zoomed in on that portion of compact bone, and what we see over here on the far right is an actual microscope slide of a uh, what, what we would actually see in that part of the bone, and then the two larger images. These are the model. So let's look at actually what it is that we're seeing. These are called osteons. This whole structure is called an osteon, and each of these round areas that we see on the microscope slide is an osteon, and we can see that there are several osteons in this view. So what is an osteon? An osteon is the structural unit of compact bone. So let's look to see what the different parts of an osteon are. This round area right here in the middle, we can see there's a vein, an artery, some lymph and nerve supply. This area right here is called the central canal or the haversian canal. In the microscope slide, that's this large black circle right in the middle of each osteon. The central canal or the haversian canal is the blood, lymph, and nerve supply for an osteon. 
Now, if we come outward, we can see these rings that almost look like tree rings. And here you can't really make them out, but you can see that there's kind of a layered structure there. These rings, each one is called a lamella. Lamella. And along each lamella, we can see there are these small oval structures. These blue things right here in the model, these are bone cells. They're called osteocytes. In the microscope slide here, they're the things that look like little ants, is what I always think. But these are osteocytes, or bone cells. Now, bone and cartilage, the cells set within these little pockets that we can see here. These are called lacuna. So really we would call one of these cells an osteocyte in a lacuna. And we can see some lacunae here that do not have bone cells in them. That's just so that you can see the difference between the lacuna and the osteocyte that would be sitting within it. Now, the bone cells, the osteocytes, are separated from each other by this very dense mineralized bone. So how does one bone cell, say that's way out here, get nutrients from the blood supply that's way over here in the middle of the Herbergian Canal? It can't diffuse because the, the material that make up these lamella is so dense. So instead, the osteocytes that are closest to the Herbergian Canal will get nutrients, and then they will pass the nutrients to the neighboring bone cells through these connections called canaliculi. Canaliculi, it means little canal. And each osteocyte is connected to neighboring osteocytes with these extensions of its cytoplasm. And these extensions of the cytoplasm are the canaliculi. We can see them over here on this image. And very, very faintly, you can almost see some canaliculi extending from the osteocytes in the actual microscope slide. Okay, so uh, that's actually all for this video. It was pretty brief. There will be other videos for this same lab, so be sure to check those out.